you let us solve some example problem that is example 4 so what is the question they have given they have told us to write all the prime numbers less than 15 so we have to write all the prime numbers Prime numbers less than 15. Okay. So, what are the prime numbers less than 15? So, we are observed in the previous topic. By sieve method, we can easily find the prime numbers. So, the required prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 15. Sorry, 13. So, less than 15 there was. So, we have to find till 15. Okay. So, the prime numbers less than 15 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. So, if they ask any questions based on the prime numbers or composite numbers, you can use that sieve method and find the prime numbers. Okay. So, how did I find this prime numbers children? You can write these numbers from 1 to 15 because till 15 there was. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, till 15 there was. So, this is the method I am teaching. See method, you can use this method if you find difficulty in finding the prime numbers. Okay. So, as I told you, 1 is neither a prime number or a composite number. Right. So, we don't need to consider 1. Next, 2. So, except 2, you have to cross multiply, uh, cross multiply all the multiples of 2. So, what are the multiples of 2 children? 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14. So, you will cross all the multiples of 2. Okay. Next, what is the next number we have? We have 3. So, consider 3. Except 3, you have to cross out all the multiples of 3. So, what are the multiples of 3 we have? 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. So, 6 is already crossed. So, you don't need to cross it again. Next, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12. 12 is already crossed. You don't need to cross it again. Okay. Next, 3 5s are is 15. Okay. Next, the next number is 4 that is crossed. So, you don't need to consider that number. Next, the leftover number is 5. Right, so the same procedure you have to cross out all the multiples of 5. So, what are the multiples of 5? 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. 10 is already crossed, so you don't need to consider again. Then 5 threes are 15, 15 is already crossed. Next, the next number we have is 7. So, you have to cross all 7 multiples. So, 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14. 14. Right, it's already crossed, so you don't need to consider it again. Next number which we have, we have, we have is 11. So, 11 ones are 11, 11 twos are 22. So, we have to only till 15, so you can take 11 directly. Okay, next 13 multiples of 3, 13 ones are 13, 13 twos are 26. So, we have as we have to only till 15, you can directly write. 30 okay so with this method that is with C method you can find the prime numbers okay if they ask any number uh, if they ask uh, you can uh, find the prime numbers less than 50 or 40 or 60 you can use this method and find the prime numbers okay
So next topic, let us learn even and odd numbers. So in the previous classes, you might all learn about even numbers and prime numbers, right? So even numbers and odd numbers, right? So do, do you observe any pattern in even numbers or odd numbers, children? Yeah, we have a pattern for odd numbers and even number. So let us see what is the pattern for even numbers and odd numbers, okay? so. What are the even numbers we have? Even numbers is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, etc. Right? These are the even numbers. Right? So, this is called as even numbers. Next. What are the odd numbers we have? Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 and so on. Right? This is called as odd numbers. Generally what we know is these are the even numbers and odd numbers. So, what is the pattern for even numbers and what is the pattern for odd numbers? So, the pattern for even numbers, we can tell that pattern for even numbers is the multiples of 2. Okay. So, the pattern for even numbers are multiples of 2. See here, you have 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are is 4, right? 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14. Like that only it continues, okay? Till 100 you can, till infinite numbers you can find the even numbers and odd numbers, okay? Next we can tell that it is a multiples of 2. So even numbers are the Multiples of 2. Next. The rest numbers. The leftover numbers. Except the multiples of 2 are. See here. Here. If you consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. See here, multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, right? So, these numbers are called as even numbers, right? Next, the leftover numbers except the even numbers, that is multiples of 2. What are the rest numbers we have? We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 and so on. These are called as odd numbers. Okay. It's it's the alternative number. So you can choose the alternate numbers. That is for odd numbers. You, if you consider one, you have to leave one number. Then consider the other number. Next you leave one number. Then consider the other number. It goes on. The procedure goes on. Like that only for even numbers, you have to start from 2. 2 you consider, next leave one number, next consider, next number. Like that only the pattern repeats, okay. So mainly to tell that even numbers, you can tell it is a multiples of 2, okay. The rest than even numbers, we can tell it as a odd numbers, okay.
so what did we learn here we learned about even numbers and odd numbers even numbers and odd numbers right you can also verify whether the two digit number or three digit number is a even number or a odd number okay so how do you verify whether it's a even number or odd number children if you take that number and divide by 2 because even number is always a multiple of 2 right so if you divide that given number by 2 and if you get the remainder as 0 then you can consider that as an even number okay otherwise you can consider it as a odd number so let us take one example and see whether it's even number or odd number So let us take number seven five six four eight two. Okay, this is how many digit number one two three four five six. This is a six digit number. In this, we have to find whether it's a even or odd number. Okay. one method is where you will divide the given number by 2 so you will divide 756482 by 2 so what is the answer you will get so two ones are two take single single digit okay so 7 minus 2 is how much 5 next 2 2 4 Then you'll get one as the reminder. Then five you can take. Then seven is a fourteen. One as the reminder. Then six. Eight is a sixteen. Then four. Two is a four. Then you have eight. Four is a eight. Next two. So two one is a two. So what did we get the reminder, children? we have got the remainder as 0 so we can tell that this number is an even number so 756482 is an even number how did we find it is an even number by dividing the given number by 2 if you get the remainder as 0 you can conclude that it is an even number okay if you get remainder other than 0 you can tell that it's an odd number okay see children but here as they have given six digits it's difficult to find by dividing the number right see if you get if they give seven or eight ten digits seven digits eight digits then also it will be a very long procedure for you to do by division method so you have an alternative method for this to find whether a given number is even number or odd number so let us see what is an alternative method for that okay
So the alternative method for finding whether a given number is even number or odd number we can tell that by seeing the ones place value. So if the ones place value of a, any given number is if ones place value of any given number is 0 2, 4, 6, 8. If the ones place value, that is ones place value of any given number. One's place value of any given number is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Then you can tell that as an even number. Okay. If one's place value of any given number is 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Then you can tell it as an even number. So let us take one example. So if. 350. So here children, we have ones place, tens place and hundreds place. So which digit, which place value you have to always see to find whether it's a even number or odd number, we have to see in the ones place value. Here in ones place value, what do you what do we have? In ones place value, we have zero. So if zero is there, in one's place, what can we conclude with? We can tell that it is an even number. Okay. Next. Next example is 4862. So we have 4862 here. We have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousand. So, we have to please see which place value, one's place value. So, in one's place value, we have two. So, if we have two, so we, have, we can tell that it's an even number. Okay. Next, let us take one more example. That is 59246. So, here we have 5 digit number, we have place value 1, 10, 100, 1000 and 10,000. So, which place value should we have to see children? We have to see 1's place value always. Okay, always we have to see 1's place value. So, in 1's place value, what do we have? In 1's place value, we have 6. So, as we have 6, we can tell it the number as it is an even number okay so this is how you find the even numbers next lay, let us take few more example and see whether it's an even or odd number so 4 so 4 5 7 Example which I have took is 457. 
So here we have ones, tens, and hundreds. So which place value we have to see? We have to see ones place value. In ones place value, we have seven. So do we have seven here? No, because we have to have only zero, four, six, eight in ones place. So as we have seven, we can tell that it is an odd number. Okay. Understood children how to find even numbers and odd numbers. If you have in ones place two four zero two four six eight, you can tell it as even number. Other other than that numbers, you can tell it as a odd numbers. Okay. So other example is two three five nine. So in two three five nine in ones place, what do we have? In ones place, we have nine. So nine is an Odd number or even number? Do we have nine here? No. So we can tell that it's an odd number. Okay. Next one more example. Eight two three one. So in ones place, what do we have? In ones place, we have one. As we don't have one here, we can tell it as a odd number. So this is how you find whether a given number is a even number or a odd number. The first method is by dividing the given number by two. If you by dividing, if you get the remainder as zero, then you can tell it as a even number. Otherwise, if you get remainder other than zero, you can tell it as a odd number. The other method. Dividing method it's very complicated. It takes a very long time to solve it. So the other easy method is by seeing one's place value for a given number. So by seeing one's place value for a given number, if you have one's place value zero, two, four, six, eight. If you have ones place value with zero, two, four, six, eight, you can tell it as a even number. Other than these numbers, you can tell it as a odd numbers. So other than these numbers, what and all do we have, children? So other than these numbers, we have zero. Next number is what one, right? One. Next two. Next number is three. The leftover number is five. Six next number is seven. Eight next number is nine. So if you get these numbers, you can tell it as a odd numbers. Okay. If you get these numbers in ones place, you can tell it as odd numbers. So if you get these numbers, you can tell it as a even numbers. Okay. So you can keep one in mind so that the other thing it will be easily remembered. Okay. So. And this is how you find the even numbers and odd numbers for a given number. So next, let us find some interesting facts about even numbers and odd numbers. Okay. So what are the in interesting facts about even numbers and odd numbers? Let us see. Okay.
So the first interesting fact is, so do you know children, what is the smallest even number we have? The smallest even numbers, even numbers starts from 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on, right? Which is the smallest number with in these numbers? 2 is the smallest number, right? 2 is the smallest number, so we can tell that the smallest even number is 2, okay? The smallest even number is 2. One more thing children, what is the smallest prime number we have? Smallest prime number we have is 2. So prime number starts from 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on. So which is the smallest number in these numbers? Here also, 2 is the smallest number, right? So, we can tell that 2 is the smallest prime number which is even, okay? As 2 is smallest prime number and even number, we can tell that 2 is the smallest prime number which is even. It is even, right? 2 is even number. So, we can tell that 2 is the smallest prime number which is even. So, 2 is the smallest prime number which is even. Okay. Understood children? As we have even numbers starts from 2, 4, 6, 8. With these numbers, we can tell 2 is the smallest number, smallest even number, right? And with prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and so on, we can tell that 2 is the smallest prime number. So what can we conclude with these two statements? We can conclude that 2 is the smallest prime number which is even because 2 is prime number, 2 is the even number, okay. This is first interesting fact which we see in even numbers and odd numbers. Next second interesting fact is, Other than 2, what are the rest prime numbers do we have children? Prime numbers we have is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on, right? Other than 2, we have already took 2. 2 because 2 is the only even number we have, right? 2 is the even number. Because only 2 is the... In this, see whether you have any other even numbers. Here we have 2 is the only even number we have. See whether you have any other even numbers. 3 is not even, 5, 7, it's not even, it's a odd number. So, you can tell that every prime number except 2 is odd. 
so the prime numbers you will get except two you you can tell that all the prime numbers are odd numbers okay so you are except two what are the numbers we have 5 7 11 7 11 13 17 19 23 see all these numbers if you observe you have all the odd numbers this is all odd numbers right so this is all odd numbers only so only 2 is the even number we have so with this so with these two statements you can tell that every prime number every prime number except 2 is odd okay except to all the prime numbers that we are getting is odd numbers okay so first first uh, what is the fact we saw first fact we saw is 2 is the smallest prime number which is even okay because 2 is a prime number in the 2 is the even number in the prime numbers so 2 is the only even number we are getting so we can tell that 2 is the smallest prime number which is even next next what did we see we saw that every prime number except 2 is odd without 2 you can tell that all the prime numbers that we have we have is odd numbers okay understood children think logically see okay think logically and see whether this statement says correct or not yes it's correct right because only 2 is the even number of course we have so we can tell that other numbers are odd numbers so every prime number except 2 is odd 